My name is Andrea and I am from Honduras. I did my exchange program in South Korea. So I had three projects and they were all in Seoul, South Korea, the capital. And on these projects, uh, the first one was on the Gangnam YMCA and the other two uh, took place after seven months uh, living in the country. So these two projects were the Bukmu Welfare Center and the Northern, uh, Northern of Seoul Welfare Center for people with disabilities. Okay, so a typical day will be uh, me getting up at six or 7 a.m. and getting ready to take the bus at around 7.30, 7.50 started off uh, with the first class that was an English class with the four-year-olds. And uh, we always started every morning class with a song, a hello song. So this way the kids can uh, speak English and at the same time have, have fun. So after the four-year-olds, we will go into the six-year-olds class. These guys were more independent and they knew a little bit more of English. So my job there, it was pretty much very simple. It was just to make sure that the kids were making their uh, all their exercise and finish uh, the work on time. After that, we will go to lunch and after an hour break at lunch, we will go back into another class for the fifth uh, the five-year-old. After that, I will take a bus home, and I will take it around 5:30. And after, I will arrive around 7 p.m. Uh, to my house in Osan. When I just got into South Korea, it was on um, January, and it's uh, usually the the coldest days of the year. South Korea was below zero. There was snow all over the place, and I. I wasn't wearing the right clothing for the weather, so I just got the worst cold. I chose uh, South Korea because I was very interested in Asian cultures, especially South Korea because it's the most mysterious one. We can always see stuff from China and Japan, but uh, Korea is a little more interesting. Uh, if you're going to South Korea, I would recommend that uh, you be you better be good eating spicy food, or at least you can uh, try to get used to it uh, while you're there. Fans love to eat meat, and if you don't like seafood as well, uh, you may have a little problem with it. But in my experience, uh, the food was great, and uh, you will have uh, you will at least love one of the dishes. I recommend you to go abroad and make a volunteer exchange uh, year. So that way, uh, I'm telling you, it's a great experience. You learn a lot from yourself and from other cultures and your own culture. South Korea will be a great place to do it. You uh, meet people from all over the world and uh, Koreans are very, very nice with foreigners. So, uh, yay Korea. No.